As many of you know, tragedy has hit the rap game again when it was revealed that Pop Smoke has passed away. Just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, we lose another big name in the industry. Pop Smoke's life was taken in his own home, and there has been a lot of conspiracy theories in determining what was the actual reason for this to happen. So today, we will show you why, so stay tuned. Before we get into this video, don't forget to leave a like if you are a fan of Pop Smoke, and if this has impacted you in any way, let us know down in the comments. You never know how these constant losses are making people feel, so if it's impacted you, let us know. There have been many deaths in the music industry in a very short amount of time, and right when you think it has to stop, there's already another sad story to add to that. Pop Smoke was a new rapper, he was just on the rise. His first track was released in 2018, and since then it only took a short amount of time before he released his breakout single, Welcome to the Party. This song received heavy rotation on the radio, it was a viral hit and it basically sparked real interest in his name. Since then he's worked with many big names in the industry, and he also has support from a lot of other rappers. His mixtape did just hit number 7 on the Billboard 200 charts days before this tragic incident so that kind of sucks he just had his career popping off and then this happened even being new to the industry he still had a lot of influence over his fans and his death did affect a lot of people especially the timing of it since it has just been like one after another lately in the industry we've been losing so many of these rappers there are some very interesting and confusing claims that have been revealed in trying to determine the actual reason for this all to happen Pop Smoke was in his home when four masked men with hoodies came into the house and ended up shooting him twice, which ended up killing him. It was originally stated that this was a home invasion robbery, but some new details have recently been revealed, and it does make it seem like this could have been something else. There were a few items taken from the home, but it was said that the signs of a robbery was just not there. The place in the house that Pop Smoke was shot at was somewhere that the intruders would have had to travel through the house to be at, and in that travel there was no signs of ransacking anything up until they found him, which usually if a robber was coming just to take things, their first act is to instantly search through everything as fast as they can to find things worth taking. So at first it kind of seems like they were looking more for him than they were looking for luxury items. Also just a few weeks before this happened, Pop Smoke posted pictures on Instagram with stacks of money and gift bags. In one of the pictures, his, his address was clearly visible and he posted one of the pictures holding cash just one day before he died. Pop Smoke did have known gang affiliations, so if he was being targeted, him posting his address was all they needed to find out where he lived. So there's a lot of reasons why this could have happened. None of the men broke in have been caught or identified so no real truth has been revealed but piecing all of it together it seems like the truth about why they did this is actually simple and it makes the most sense in this version the people who broke in knew that he had stacks of cash on him just one day before he did this like i said the picture was posted so even though the police don't see real signs of a normal robbery it seems like whoever did this just wanted to get in and get out knowing he was home and had the cash Instead of trying to take too much time to search for the house, knowing that he had all the money on him, they didn't want to waste time and just ramsack. So if they really did know he had the money, they just wanted to find him and instantly look for him and take what he had on him and what was around him. Like I said, there were certain things taken from the home, but none of them were ramsacked. It was just all stuff that he had on him or around him. There is always a possibility that he was being targeted, but he's also famous and very known in the media. It doesn't seem likely that if he did have someone targeting him that really wanted to kill him, they most likely wouldn't have had to wait until he posted his address. So that actually might not be the case. If someone really wanted him dead, they could have found him way before he posted the address. He's in the media. It wouldn't be that hard. So as of now, the thing that makes the most sense would be they were trying to rob him, but they didn't ransack the rest of the house because they were trying to get in and get out, and they had to have known that all the cash he posted, if that's what they were after, was either on him or around him. So that is what I really think happened. There is still a lot more information to be revealed, and hopefully that will come out quickly after whoever did this gets caught. If they do get caught, there are no suspects as of now. The only lead they have is a security footage of four men wearing black hoodies and masks entering the home. 
we will keep you updated the more information is revealed so with that being said i am going to end the video here i do want to know what you think about this situation down in the comments there's so many different possibilities of why this actually was happening or why it did happen so let me know what you think is the most logical reason also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of Pop Smoke. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media. I'll see you in the next one.